everyone. In this video, we are going to look at some applications of Newton's third law of motion, which we normally observe in our daily life. So the first application will be the recoil of a gun. Now when a gun fires a bullet, the bullet moves out of the gun with a very large velocity or very large speed. But we also see that the gun moves backward on firing a bullet. Now this is what we call as the recoil of a gun. That is the backward movement of the gun when a bullet is being fired from that gun is what we call as the recoil of a gun. Now why does this happen? This is where the third law of motion comes into picture. That is the gun exerts a force onto the bullet in the forward direction because of which the bullet starts moving with a great speed. So the force on the bullet is in the in that direction. But in return to this force, the bullet also exerts a force, an equal and opposite force onto the gun, which is in the opposite direction to the motion of the gun. So this is the force which is responsible for the recoil of the gun. And surprisingly, these two forces are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction as we have read in the Newton's third law of motion. That is to every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So here, the action force is this force which is on the bullet and in reaction we have this force which is the force onto the gun. Now these two forces are equal in magnitude but we see that the bullet moves with a very high speed while the gun moves backward but with a very little distance. It moves a, a very little distance backward. Now this happens because of the difference in the masses of the bullet and the gun. We see that the gun is more massive as compared to a bullet and that is the reason why the gun uh, being acted upon by, this e by the equal amount of force as that of the bullet moves only a very little distance backward. So here when a bullet is fired from a gun, the, the force sending the bullet forward is equal to the force sending the gun backward. However, due to the high mass of the gun, it moves only a very little distance backward. Now let us move ahead to our second application, which is flying jet airplanes. Now you might have noticed the airplanes in the sky, right? And we have also seen that, uh, we have also seen these gases coming out of the, uh, the airplane, which traces the path the airplane has taken. So, these gases are coming out of the airplane as a result of the rapid burning of the fuels, fuel inside the airplane. So these gases after being generated inside the airplane are being pushed outwards or pushed backwards with a large velocity. So a force is being exerted onto the gases because of which these gases move backward or outwards. So this is a push which the engine offers to the gases or the force that is being acting upon the gases which makes them move in the backward direction. Now as a result of this force we have a reaction force that pushes the engine in the forward direction that is these two forces are exactly equal but opposite in direction. Now here this force if we take this force as the action we can take this force as the reaction because of which the airplane moves in the forward direction. So here the hot gases obtained by the rapid burning of the fuel rush out of a jet at, a rear, at the rear end of the aircraft at a great speed. The equal and opposite reaction is being acted upon on this uh, airplane which makes it move in the forward direction. So this was all about flying jet airplanes. Our next application is quite similar to this, which is the flying rockets. But these rockets don't move in the uh, horizontal direction, but these move in the upward direction, right? Even in this case, we see the gases moving out or rushing out of the rocket. The mechanism is the same. That is, these gases are because of the rapid burning of the fuel inside the rocket. But these gases are pushed backwards I mean the, these gases are pushed downwards and that is the reason why this rocket gets an upward 
lift and it moves in the upward direction. So the force acting on these gases are in the downward direction and the resulting force which acts upon the rocket is in the opposite direction. So this is the force on the gases which is the action and as a reaction we have this force that is acting on the rocket which is moving it forward or it is moving it in the upward direction. So here we have we say that the hot gases produced by the rapid burning of the fuel rush out of a jet at the bottom of the rocket at a very high speed and an equal and opposite force is acted upon the rocket which makes it move in the upward direction. Now let us move ahead to our next application of third law which is this that is the case of a hose pipe. Now here, whenever we have a fire in a place, we call the fireman. Now this fireman, what he does is, he throws a large amount of water with a high speed onto the place on fire. And he does that using a hose pipe. Now this water which is rushing out of the hose pipe with a very large speed and in a very large quantity, has a great force in the forward direction or in the direction in which the water is moving out. So the force on the water or the stream of water is in the forward direction and this force being the action force has also got a reaction force according to the Newton's third law but in the direction opposite to this force and e exactly equal in magnitude to this force. So that is the reason why the fireman has to hold the hose pipe intact or he has to put a lot of effort on holding the hose pipe in place so that it won't move backward because of this force that is being exerted as a reaction force. So this force if we take it as reaction force this will be the reaction force because of which the fireman has to hold the hose pipe intact with a lot of effort. So here when a fireman directs a powerful stream of water on fire from a hose pipe, they have to hold the hose pipe strongly because of its tendency to go backward. The backward movement of the hose pipe is due to the backward reaction of water rushing out of it in a, with a very large speed. So this is the reason why he has to hold the hose pipe with a lot of effort, spending a lot of energy. Now the next application of Newton's third law is the rowing of a boat. Now whenever we row a boat, what we do is we push the water in the backward direction and that makes the boat move in the forward direction. Even here we have the action and the reaction forces acting in the same place. So here the force that the uh, oars exert onto the water on moving it backward is in this direction that is the force of push on water is in this direction towards me and as a result the boat moves forward and the movement of the boat is in the opposite direction due to the due to the reaction force because of this action force so this is the action force and in reaction to this the boat moves forward because of this reaction force so here the boatman pushes the water backwards with the oars the water exerts an equal and opposite push on the boat which makes the boat move forward. So these were some of the applications of Newton's third law of motion and I hope this video was interesting to you and also understandable to you. Thanks for watching. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.